Pine Creek Forks. 
The Flying B payroll's been robbed. Pete Bellin's been kidnapped. Tell the boys to ride. Fred! Oh, Fred! Hello! Posse, Fred! Sheriff wants you at Pine Creek Forks! They're riding! as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Yeah. 
Sadlin. I want the posse. Something stern, I reckon. Put the bag down. And he thought us delicious. Try some today. We are the intermission quartet. Some quartet. We sell refreshments at the Met. At the Met? So if you should want to get delicious ice cream, yes, sir. why is it easy to cross the Canadian border than the Mexican border? I'll give you three reasons. We exactly. speak the same language. We never had a war, and you cannot grow marijuana in the snow. <laughs> I'm not going to give up my pot to you for nothing. Well, I can Mr. White. How do you stand on marijuana? Very high. <laughs> Mr. White, getting back to that movie, in the white Tarzan, he swings on vines. Yeah, but we swing on grass. <laughs> around them, the sheriff's posse gathers at Pine Creek Forks, prepared for action. Men, and this gang have been around this country too long. We're going to clean them out, today. But we got to remember that old Pete Bellman is with them, and we don't want them to get hurt. All right, boys, let's hit out!
edge of infinity. Join me in my dreams. My trip to fantasy.
big stupid asshole. Bojack, why were you even in the bounce house, dummy? Bojack, you wasted my 30s. I never said you wasted my 30s. You didn't have to. You're always saying it. And I don't like being around you because I feel bad. You make me feel bad. If Kelsey didn't get fired and you got to make the secretary a movie you wanted to make, would that have made you happy? For a little bit. But then, probably. So what does it matter? But there has to be. I want to feel good about myself. I started with just slowly spilled out of me and now it's all gone and I'll never get it back in me. It's too late. Life is a series of closing doors, isn't it? Don't be sad. Good horsey. And now we come to the thrilling final episode of our radio drama. Old Pete Belden, driver of the Jetney from Carsonburg to Copper Springs, has a double load today. Pete's ancient bus is carrying the Flying B payroll and the passenger, his niece Betty. Little do Pete and Betty suspect as they chug over the desert wasteland that just around the next curve, shifty Sam Hicks and his henchmen lie in wait. Got a band of rustlers operating in the neighborhood. Oh, cool. You don't seem very scared, carrying the payroll in every month. But you better stick close to home. safe and sound with Betty in her new car. And to our friends of the radio audience, we bid a pleasant good night.